I thought back over my career, all the business leaders I've worked with, all the people in different industries who've embraced analytics and creativity, and I tried to think, if I could give one award for a person that personified the combination of analytics and creativity, who would it be? The answer is Snoop Dogg. So Snoop, this is for you. <laughs> Let me tell you why. I found myself at EMI Music about eight years ago. Our job was to use data to help the business. Yeah, that's it. That's actually usually my brief. How can data help? And of course, there are millions of ways that data can help a business. We picked one to start with. We decided that the best opportunity was to use data to help drive the strategy for an artist, to help them to navigate the countries or audiences to drive growth, both for an artist and the marketing teams as well. Step one, gather the data that you need. For us, it was a million interviews over a few years with customers, with audiences, with music consumers around the world on rich dimensions, trying to distill infinite complexity of people into ones and zeros. Next, it was crafting that into something that would be insightful, clustering on the dimensions we felt were most important, useful, actionable, to have simple clusters that we could use. And then predictive analytics, step three. Simple predictive analytics for each artist in each country, which type of customer, which segments would represent the best opportunities for growth. And for Snoop Dogg, there were a couple of segments that really stood out, and one that he really latched onto. We called them gadgeteers. They were defined by, <clears throat> they were defined by their passion for technology, their passion for smartphones and social media networks and all things technology, early adopters. It was one of their values. He really latched onto them in the meeting. He kept saying, we've got to get them gadgeteers. We've got to get them gadgeteers. And sure enough, in the weeks and months and years that followed, he went after them. He was an early adopter of social media, for good or for bad. He was all across tech startups and technology companies in partnerships and collaborations. And it worked. He built resonance in that audience. And as a result, he's relevant to a whole new generation 